Hello everyone, and my dear subscribers. The second episode of my main 6 roster will be on Striker, because Striker got some changes in the last balance patch. I'll explain about the changes, and it will be mainly focused on Deathblow Striker, and then a little bit about SO Flurry. But before I start, I have to give you a little background story of my Striker. When I first made the class on release, I hated it. It was slow, no immunity, no 3 spender build back then, my LTS wouldn't crit, so I ended up benching it for a while. And then all this tracker boom came up, everyone started talking about it, and I think this is the first class I actually meta chased. Somehow I got pretty lucky with a 9-7 rock and here we are. I've been playing SO Flurry until the bounce patch because of zero utility on the death blow, but they changed it so it provides decent utility, and I'm back to death blow. I'll try to briefly talk about the changes and provide info so you can choose for yourself when the bounce patch arrives in the west. The prior rotation now is Lightning Tiger Strike, Blast Formation, and then the Tiger emerges. Blast Formation got animation rework, making it more hits on target, and it's stronger than Tiger Emerges. There is another niche variant I've tried which is using Flat Shit Fang instead of Storm Dragon Kick. It definitely does more damage than using SDK, but in return you lose Adrenaline Builder and some mobility. I would use it if you're really comfortable in that raid or could use extra stagger or weak point. Right now, I just switch the gems and go back and forth depending on the raid. Another big change for Deathblow Striker is that you only need 1570 spec for a 3 spender Deathblow build now so you can use a crit ring and play a adrenaline 1 build. The only downside to this is that you need to use moon flash kick from close range as missing the first hit will result in identity loss. The LTS damage difference in Trixian between full spec and 1570 spec is 174 million to 165 million and it's not really that much and I'm sure you can build the one crit ring build with lower cost. I have a theory that LTS has an atrophin bug, but this crit ring build might be a way out of this bug. Now I'll explain about the new tripod on Blast Formation and Tiger Emerges. I hope they translate the tripod better for the western version, but in Korean, word to word translation says, consumes one bubble but does 14% less damage. This basically means you can use Tiger Emerges and Blast Formation even when you only have one orb. The spenders require two orbs and give 70% damage by class engraving, but the tripod will allow you to use them with only one orb with 56% damage. At two orbs and three orbs, it will do a little bit more than the pre-patch two orbs and three orbs, so in a sense Smogate is giving higher floor and less penalty for missing some other identity builders. So nowadays when I miss a builder, I just use my spender and try to stick to the rotation rather than trying to build full orbs every time before using a spender. I have hard enough time chasing back, you know, might as well stay with the rotation and keep my adrenaline going. So my overall analysis on Deathblow Striker damages, it can pop off in certain raids with certain party composition, but on average, the damage is kinda average. I think the reason is, there are a lot of classes who are reworked and buffed, and a lot of swiftness classes are becoming really strong. So not only Deathblow, a lot of other used to be OP spec classes are getting power crept. For Valdis Abyssal Dungeon, Striker is… okay. You might have a really hard time landing back attack in the beginning if your party doesn't have a taunt and has a bunch of other back attack classes. For Valdis, almost every gate is pretty smooth sailing, but you probably need to consider taking an Overwhelm rune on the Tiger Emerges for gate 4. Anyways, in Theamine, Striker is pretty good. 
You just have to remember to save spacebar and awakening for some push immunity and you should have a pretty easy time. However, in Theamine Gate 4, although I haven't tried it yet, I might go back to Esso if I ever reach that point. The reason is the counter Sky Shattering Blow is too important for skill rotation for Death Blow. There are Death Blows who have cleared this gate, but I have a feeling the party probably had few members who did all the countering in place of the Striker. Speaking of SO Striker, Firespender build was slightly nerfed as they nerfed the damage of Spiral Impact. So after about a month since balance patch, what build are people using? Literally, what they personally prefer. There are people still playing Five Spender full spec. There are people playing Four Spender with Flash at Fang. There are people playing Four Spender with Round Sweep Kick. There are people playing with Five A Ten stat. There are people playing One to One stat or just full spec. But to give you some idea, my 1625 striker 2 minute average DPS between the builds are Flash Hit Fang Deathblow build 27 million, Storm Dragon Kick Deathblow 26 million, Esoteric 5 spender, 4 spender, 1 to 1 stat, full spec, all around 23 to 24 million range. I think my SO came out way lower than expected because I was using Lot of Salvation 30 card for more consistent results. SO Flurry bursting with 3 spenders while Lazanith, Umar card set is proc can be very strong. So for your reference, the highest I've seen using Lazanith card set for Death Blow Striker was 28 million and 26 million for SO with perfect Lazanith rotation. So, is everyone on the way back to Deathblow just because it's higher DPS than Trixian? Not really. I've heard stories of, I've tried Deathblow, but I'm going back to SO. I'm back to SO, but I'm addicted to big numbers and I'm going back to Deathblow. Almost every striker is playing what they prefer and not just following one meta. I personally think this is a good thing, especially the one crit ring Deathblow build, because being able to use this it's going to significantly lower the price to build one. Also, the crit rate will be higher, so you'll see less of white LTS numbers. This makes class more affordable, but is it worth it to play the class? I think the answer lies in your heart. Are you a male fighter enjoyer who enjoys big numbers and being called a good player because you can MVP with a striker? Do you pride yourself being a striker main just because the name striker sounds cool? If you're thinking about making one now, you should wait about a month and see how male scrapper looks. I think striker return is a little unfair compared to the risk and needs some more love. But Benji, you say every class in your roster needs a buff. Wait till my next episodes of Soulfist and Clavier. I'll explain how, why, and where they're good in every detail to the T. That's it for my striker video. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.